For question number 11, the correct option is option 4. And to show the steps of solution, as a first step, we can see quantitatively uh, whether this option should be positive or negative value this way. From equation of state, PV is equal to nRT for an idle gas, where P is the pressure, V is the volume of the gas, N is the number of moles of the gas, R is gas constant, T is the Kelvin temperature of the gas. And therefore, we are getting number of moles of a gas N is equal to PV upon RT. It follows therefore that N proportional to 1 upon P, where P and V are constant. That is the case of this problem since in an open room, pressure and volume remain constant and number of moles of air must be varying inversely as the Kelvin temperature. So therefore, as they have said, initial temperature Ti is smaller than the final temperature Tf. It follows that number of moles finally, Nf, should be less than initial number of moles, isn't it? If N varying inversely as Kelvin temperature, when temperature rises, number of moles decreases and therefore the number of molecules also will be less than the initial number of molecules. Nf is less than Ni and therefore of the four choices, the option 1 or 4 should be correct. As you can see among the options, 1 and 4 giving negative values of Nf minus Ni, the change in the number of molecules of air and negative value should be there because final number of molecules is less than the initial number of molecules. So option 1 or 4 is correct while option number 2 and 3 can be eliminated. But it doesn't take us much forwards because we equate the numerical value and choose between options 1 and 4. Therefore, in step number 2, now since the numerical calculation is involved, let us take down the data given in the question. That is, the pressure of air is 1 into 10 to the power 5 Pascal. Pascal is same as Newton per meter square, alternatively called Pascal. And the data given in one significant figure here, note that for pressure. The volume of the room, that volume is 30 meter cube. Then we have the initial temperature that is given to be 17 degrees Celsius in CGS unit converting into SI unit, we can write that will be 17 plus 273 Kelvin, that is 290 Kelvin. And similarly, the final temperature Tf in Kelvin scale will be 27 plus 273 Kelvin, that is 300 Kelvin. Except for this, you also require the values of universal gas constant and Avogadro's number. I think they are given in the question paper itself. So I'm noting down gas constant R is 8.3 joule per mole per Kelvin in two significant figures. And similarly, Avogadro's number reported in two significant figures will be 6.0 into 10 to the power 23 per mole. So in addition to the four data given in the question itself, we require the values of Avogadro's number and gas constant. Armed with this, in step number three, you can write down, referring back to this equation, I'm just using this. Initial number of moles, Ni, is equal to PV upon RTI. And final number of moles of the gas NF is equal to PV upon RTF. You understand pressure remains constant, volume remains constant, gas constant is a constant, only T is changing. And therefore, we can write down 
the change in the number of moles of gas that is nf minus ni that is coming out to be pv upon r kept outside the brackets inside brackets 1 upon tf minus 1 upon ti well a part of the calculation has gone out of the screen but no problem for us we already know that we choose between options 1 and 4 and my last result let me call it equation number 1 for future reference and in step number 4 we emphasize that the change in number of moles is not the change in number of molecules number of moles of a gas n is given by total number of molecules divided by Avogadro's number that is Na and therefore we can write that number of molecules of a gas is given by number of moles that is N multiplied by Avogadro's number. Now keeping this in mind we can write from equation number one that if this is the change in the number of moles the corresponding change in number of molecules will be capital NF Distinguish between the symbols, small n is used for number of moles, capital N used for number of molecules. So final number of molecules of the gas minus initial number of molecules of the gas, that will be this quantity multiplied by Avogadro's number, isn't it? Capital NF is equal to Na into small nf, capital Ni is equal to Na into small ni and therefore this coming out to be P into V into Na divided by R into inside brackets 1 upon Tf minus 1 upon Ti. I am writing everything in symbolic form first just before I put the values from above. So finally consulting the data from here we are getting Nf minus Ni that is coming out to be well I should just put here numerical values without writing the units let's make it quick pressure is 1 into 10 to the power 5 units just numerical value written here volume is 30 units Avogadro's number known to be 6.0 into 10 to the power 23 the value of gas constant 8.3 units and then in brackets we have got 1 upon 300 minus 1 upon 290. I just didn't write the units, just numerical values are enough for the calculation and get to the correct option. Now let's see how you can manipulate this orally without taking help of calculator. We have 1 into 10 to the power 5 into 30 into 6 into 10 to the power 23 divided by 8.3 you can see inside brackets we have got in denominator 290 into 300 numerator is minus 10 so let me write 10 here and insert a minus sign at the front. We already know that the value will be negative, minus value here, right? Now you can see this 30 and 10, 300 cancelling out with this. Then we have, let me write somewhere here approximately, right? We have 6 into 10 to the power 28 in numerator. 6 is here, 10 to the power 5 into 10 to the power 23 into the power 28 that's a numerator approximate calculation divided by 8.3 that is 290 I can write it as 2.9 into 10 square and then with an I on the options available this 10 square cancelling out making it 10 to the power 26 let us make this 10 to the power 25 and make this thing as 60, right? You understand? So, in the option number 4, we have got minus 2.5 into 10 to the power 25 molecules, that is the number. A minus n already has been obtained. 
the power of 10 tally, 60 upon 8.3 into 2.9, that is indeed coming out to be about 2.5. So eventually, we have got this value is approximately coming out to be minus 2.5 into 10 to the power 25, and therefore, we choose the option number 4 without any doubt. Option number 4 is the correct option.